everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm doing a fun technique with gloss paper and Distress Oxide ink. I'll be using for my oxides Wild Honey, Fossilized Amber, Ground Espresso, and Black Soot. I'm taking the first uh, three colors, the Wild Honey, Fossilized Amber, and Ground Espresso, and putting them on the little pill off uh, craft sheet that comes on my glass media mat, and I'm spritzing that with water. And I'm just dipping my uh, gloss cardstock in there, and then I'm drying it between each layer. You want to dry between each layer so it actually layers and doesn't mix. And you just add a little extra water if you need to, and then you dry, you dip, you dry, you dip, you dry, and so on. Um, while this is going on, I'm going to be using the Be Yourself stamp set that came in a recent Simon Says stamp card kit. And I'm going to be creating a fun B card. And so I needed a little extra yellow, I thought. So I just um, smashed more of that on my craft mat and added that. And then for the final touches here, I'm just going to smush down a little bit of black soot, add some water, and get a, a paintbrush and flick on some splatter. And um, it flicked on a lot of splatter, so I thought, okay, that's enough. <laughs> and then I'm going to dry that. So then the next thing I'm going to do is take Distress Microglaze, which um, if you use it over watercolor or over Distress, it will seal them, and then uh, water can't penetrate, and it will no longer, won't make your watercolor run or and, you know, reactivate your distress inks. But when used with the gloss cardstock, it makes a really pretty effect. And so I just use my little round blending tool, and you can already see the difference. It's the colors just pop and are more vibrant, and they're shiny. Now, a little bit of color does transfer off into that sponge, so I just throw that sponge away. Anytime you want to do this, use a fresh sponge and then throw it away. And then I just buffed off the uh, extra um, glaze that was on top with um, a clean paper towel. Okay, so now I'm going to take all the little bees off this stamp set. And I'm just going to fill this little scrap piece of Nina 80-pound uh, uh, cardstock full with these little beans, uh, bees. And I'm just stamping them with Simon's Intense Black Ink. I'm going to be doing some Copic coloring on my little bee guys. And for my Copics, I'm going to be using, for the black, 100, C9, and C7. And for the yellow, I'm going to use Y19, Y08, and Y06. And on their little wings, I'm going to use BG10. And I'm just going to show you the coloring of uh, one of the bees because I, I do color them all just the same. And basically, I'm just going to try and make them look rounded. I'm going to give um, the darker color on the edges and then the lighter color in the center to give them a more rounded look. And here we go. We're going to focus in tight on here. And it, you can actually see this better than I can see it when I'm coloring it. <laughs> Maybe I should try coloring through my camera lens. Oh, my printer's talking. I was scanning earlier, and I think it's going to sleep now. That'll be done in a minute. And if I'd have been thinking, you should always color your lighter colors before you color your darker colors, because you can bring the dark, the light, darker color into your lighter when coloring. So um, do as I say and not as I do, and, and color your lighter colors first first and then your darker colors. So again just applying the darkest color to the outside edge and then the lighter in the middle and that gives his little body a nice little rounded effect. I, I see I went out of the lines there a little bit but I think I do clean it up with my colorless blender later. Add his little black nose and then I'm going over the wings with the BG10. Now where the wings overlap I go over those several times and I let it dry and I go over it again. So there's all the colors that I used. Not a lot. Uh, little bees are pretty simple. So I got them all colored and I cut them out with my brother's scan and cut. And now I have all these adorable little bees. 
So I was trying to decide where I wanted my sentiment to be. And um, I did uh, did have a little bit of struggle with my sentiment because of the paper was a little bit warped from all the heating and everything. And um, that s slick cardstock too. Um, it was a it was a little difficult. I, I got a little bit of um, a blur on it, but I'm not going to stress over it. And I'm going to use archival distress black soot for stamping my sentiment as well as the honeycomb. And then I will also use that to stamp the bee trails. So uh, all in all, I mean, it really didn't take that long to to do this, uh, you know, card. Uh, coloring the little bees uh, was probably the most uh, time consuming part. The uh, ink smushing was the fun part. <laughs> It's always fun to play in inks and everything. So, uh, yeah, I did I did stamp this sentiment a couple of times, trying to get it uh, more crisp. I think it looks all right. We're going to roll with it anyway. So just taking off all those stamps, uh, and now I'm going to decide where my bee trails are going to go. So I'm going to put my bees where I want them. And then add my little bee trails. So I'm trying to get caught up with doing cards from all the card kits that I, uh, you know, recently received that I hadn't had time to make any cards with. So uh, next I am going to um, do a card with the Leafy Frames card kit. Because that was a beautiful card kit. And uh, I really want to do some stuff with that. And I've got some ideas. I think we're going to do some watercoloring um, with those. So that, those will be uh, sometime later this week, or maybe next week. We'll see how things go. At the the uh, ranch house has been super busy. I have another what I call an in and out day. I've got guests leaving this morning and coming this afternoon, so we have three hours to get the house ready for the new guests. And all in all, in July, I've got five of those dates. So uh, those are pretty hectic days. And so here I'm just adding a little bit of foam tape to the back of these little bees. So they pop up a little bit, gives them a dimension of the card. Otherwise, it's kind of a, a one layer card. Later on, I did decide to cut this panel down a little bit so I could add a, a black layer underneath. And I really thought that that helped it uh, stand out. I really like having the, the black layer on there. And I added some uh, Spectrum Noir Clear Sparkle Overlay to the little wings. And I'm going to add some glossy accents to his glasses. And just going to take some Nouveau adhe Adhesive. I had a clog. I, I bought this bottle of Nouveau Adhesive several months ago. And it just sat there. And I think it got a clog just uh, setting. And um, it took me a while to work through this clog. <laughs> Once I finally did, though, it started flowing more normal. And I, I really do like the Nouveau adhesive. Uh, normally, when you're, you know, using it, it, it doesn't clog. Um, so this is the first time I ever experienced a clog. But like I said, I've had it probably six months. Um, I think it was on sale one time. And so I bought a couple of bottles. And um, and just now getting to the, the second bottle that I bought. And this has probably been about six months. So final embellishments are the little packet of sequins that came in the card kit. They're just little uh, black and gold and yellow sequins. And so I'm just going to um, put some drops of adhesive around and use my little Marvy jewel picker and put these in the glue dots. And that's going to finish off this card. Like I said, pretty quick and easy. And, and I will show a, a shot here in a minute of what I did for the inside of the card. Uh, basically, I just added another bee, some more bee trails, and the little bee awesome. And I used the little strips of where I cut down the outside panel and just put them on some black. You'll see that in a second. It was real easy. Basically, just used some scraps. There it is. 
kind of a quick shot. Sorry about that. Well, anyway, here's a final look. We appreciate you stopping by and we'll see you soon in the next video. Thank you.